Hey guys, guess where I am? Hey guys, so I've just landed in Greece and I'm transferring to my hotel. So I landed Athens around 11. When we arrived at my hotel at Grand Hyatt Athens, the room wasn't available yet. So I left my luggage and then now I'm trying to roam around the streets to see where I want to eat because I'm starving. And I need some Greek coffee to wake me up. It's been such a long flight. It's around 10 hour flight from Toronto. After walking around, checking out multiple spots, some are closed, some stop serving food. I finally ended up at this Greek restaurant serving traditional dishes. Yes, I came here and I saw some spots that are popular or highly rated, but they serve fusion food, not even authentic Greek food. And me being here, I don't want to try fusion food. I'm here for authentic food. So I'm here at Kala Makeri and they dub themselves as a traditional grill house for passers-by. So I obviously need to try their grilled food. They have both indoor and outdoor dining and it's a nice quaint spot. The interior in indoors is actually nice. It has some sort of atmosphere to enjoy. So they said they're known for the souvlaki here and I saw the grill as well walking by to the dining room. So I'm excited to try. I got one of each. I got pork, chicken and sheep. And then I also got the chalumi on the grill, which has tomato and pesto sauce. So this is grilled halloumi with tomato and pesto sauce. Halloumi is a widely popular cheese in Greece and you can find them in a lot of, or even most Greek restaurants would serve halloumi. It is so good. The halloumi is perfectly grilled. You can see the char and it is still very bouncy inside and very soft. It is somewhat salty, not too salty, which perfectly balances with the acidity of the tomato and it have the nice pita bread for the carb. So here we have the, the sheep, the chicken and the pork souvlaki. So good. the sheep, kind of lean, but still very tender and juicy. The spices and herbs, the beef for the grill, it's so good. So Sivlaki is one of the most must-try dishes in Greece. It's basically grilled meat and it's a common street food you'll find everywhere. That was such a yummy meal. I'm so glad they were open for me to try. And it's in a local neighborhood, even though it's near our hotel but it's really yummy. Lots of locals eating as well. So check it out. Now I'm on the hunt for some coffee. So I already know where I want to have coffee. While I was walking around, I saw this coffee shop with a lot of locals drinking outside. So that's what I want to try. I can't wait. Here it is guys, Greek coffee. It's also called Elinikos. really strong so they actually use very very fine ground Greek coffee and then they put water in it and they actually make it into a boil instead of brewing it and then as they pour back the boiled coffee into another cup they make sure that the, the ground beans are left in the other cup it's very thick it's very foamy and it tastes amazing kind of reminds me of Turkish coffee if you reach the bottom, you'll see the thick sludge of ground coffee. You're not supposed to drink it. I actually tried a little bit. <laughs> so I might not be able to see it later. I'm checked in at the Grand Hyatt Athens and it's a five-star hotel. It's not exactly I'm right at the city center nor near the Acropolis, but it's in a nice local neighborhood. Lots of restaurants and local cafes nearby. Check out the pool bar. 